Hello and welcome back to episode 18 of Third Rome, where we're playing as Russia in U4 at the 1.35 Ottoman Update and the Domination DLC. We are currently uh, preparing to get some exploration going on. So we're going to do the push into Eastern Siberia mission, which will let us go ahead and pick ourselves a colonial policy. So I guess I'll go with native repression. Um, I do like that for the fact that it will let us colonize a bit faster, especially since we are pretty far behind on the whole situation. I'm going to go ahead and build up three transports as well. And we can also build ourselves up a small uh, set of units. Oh, we have no manpower. Uh, maybe then... Well, the free company would be kind of small. I guess I'll send like 3,000 units from one of these guys over here then. Let's have you start the long march over here then. And I might even see about getting them a general of some, some repute. There we go. And we'll continue with building some trade buildings. That'll help our income a little bit. All right, now that these guys are together, we can go ahead and give them their explorer. And we will have them not hunt pirates. We will have them explore um, the... Southwest Pacific. And here we go. The Age of Absolutism is upon us. We can go ahead and promote some more vodka sales. Continue getting ourselves some money. And uh, we have weathered the troubles because the um, mission did not, sp or the uh, disaster did not spawn. So we will gain. For 25 years, stability cost modifier, and all state loyalty equilibrium. It would have been nicer to get the uh, morale of armies until end of game, but... It's too bad we didn't trigger the uh, event, I guess. Um, A war with Transoxiana, huh? Go ahead and let that boost up a little bit more. Uh, we should definitely go ahead and build up some more of these. That is another advisor. We would like another trade guy. Although a colonial range guy might be nice for now. We do need to get our absolutism up right as well. So revoking some more of these does make sense for us. I'm not going to be integrating any subjects for a while, so let's go ahead and pull back on the integration policy. And uh, how are we doing on income right now? 
I guess I'll drop all three of these. Let's see where that puts us. I feel like dropping this is going to be pretty critical for us. Like, we'll take a lot of issues from that. Okay, I need you to explore. Southwest Pacific Coast. I can't believe I can't explore this way yet. And new war charters would be a little helpful, but... I think that's a little too pricey for us because we need to get our absolutism up. Um, I guess I'm going to drop clerical education. Maybe I'll drop expand the fortifications. I got to get as many of these down as I can. I will take a lot of money, yes please. Poland has rivaled us, okay. So I guess we will rival Poland back. Lithuanian noble rebels doesn't really do much for us. We are at separatists. We'll go take care of them at some point. Now we're gonna go ahead and continue exploring. There's another gold province. going down more separatists coming along we do need to keep on exploring so let's um there we go northwest pacific finally we'll definitely like to find somewhere to send our colonist take the uh Production. We'll keep going with the Patriarch Authority.
So either way, we're going to have to stick with what we pick. The modernization game would probably be pretty useful at this point. This is going to have us deal with 20... Regiments of rebels And overall all modernization really gives us is institution cost reduction. I think I'm gonna keep surfed them around I don't know what effect that's gonna have on us long term, but Short term it gives us money and uh yeah, the, the cost on technologies is a little rough, to be honest, but sometimes you got to pay that price. Oh, you guys are currently actually generalists, so let's have you deal with these guys. And then we can keep on drilling. We'll keep growing our manpower pool for a little while. We'll go ahead and use this to remove whatever autonomy we just gained. Gonna get a couple more of those and then we'll focus on production buildings. Sure. Sunni zealots. Okay, they should get to them in time. I will go ahead and take the mercantilism on there. Admin tech for innovativeness. Now, we're going to need to pick our next idea group. We definitely need more money. So I am wondering if I should go for trade. Global trade power, goods produced modifier, comboed with merchants and trade power abroad. It could be pretty strong. One of my other thoughts is Diplo, because that would give us more Diplomats to use, but we're not really struggling that way. We're struggling with money. And I do think trade might be the way to go. Quantity is my only other thought to just really overpower armies. It would give us a lot more manpower recovery speed, manpower in general. Supply limit would help us up in our provinces. Land force limit. What kind of policies are we looking at with that, though? More manpower recovery speed and... Reinforce speed, reinforce cost, and attrition for enemy shock damage. 
I don't know. I'm definitely leaning towards trade, though. Let's see, espionage would be advisor cost. It would help with our sieging. Help with our spy networks, which would also help with our sieging. Make our cavalry a little stronger. We're not releasing cavalry, though. I think I might go for trade. I do think that would be useful for us. How many days do we have on this? 72? I could probably take it... on the first. Get the innovativeness. Brandenburg wants help with Pomerania? Sure. Yeah, trade ideas, global trade power, merchants. We'll send our next merchant to where? This will transfer out of Ostracon. We are going to want to go ahead and explore some more. We can explore the um, Northeast Pacific. I guess at least in the meantime, I can use this army to take care of these guys. They do have a fort, though. God, that's annoying. You know, we'll just use the free company over here. Icon of St. Michael has been forgotten. It's probably something I want to get back. Yeah, we need to keep our manpower recovery going. And I might as well keep you actually back here then, since... It's about where we are. There is Alaska. Which we are definitely going to want to start exploring as soon as we can. Government reform progress. Let's go for... I don't really need Latasa Ma, do I? I do not. So... I'm going to say this would probably be the most helpful for the uh, little bit of extra income we'll get from that autonomy. And then we'll go ahead and make sure these guys have a general. And we just got to wait for the spy network over here to work on this. Let's get a claim on Wallachia. Great horde separatist, huh? Let's uh, let's say no to that.
Wait, did they give me provinces? Or my... They did. Well, we're going to give those to Finland. Well, I'm glad I helped out in that war. Oh, we'll give that to Finland, too. I'm going to do some conversions and take the Slay the Knot Line of the North mission, which will let us complete Finnish missions. We'll let Finland complete their missions that they uh, normally couldn't. explore the northeast pacific coast because that will be very important for us timurids with some particularists um oh i forgot we want to do this get our crown lens all the way up i think removing religious culture would be pretty penalizing for us so i don't want to do that And then we're going to start colonizing over here, which means we will send our, how long is that going to take is a question actually, very important one, almost two years. Brandenburg wants help with Rugen, huh? Okay. This can only be revoked by republics, which we don't want to become, so. I'm going to keep doubling down on that. It is quite expensive, but. I kind of want to see what will happen if we just keep pushing for more and more peasantry reforms. Alright, mill tech. We could take it. Uh, you can go ahead and explore... Have you explore the southern Indian Ocean? Let's go ahead and keep on converting provinces. Man, they are all the way over here already. Well, Castile has a huge colonial empire, it seems. We need to get everything we can out of Alaska. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Call this guy back. We're gonna wanna start building a spy network here now. So 
This guy's conquered the Ainu, apparently. Alright. We'll declare war on you guys. And we can... Push down here. We'll get this siege down. Colonists will arrive soon. I'm just going to go ahead and take military tech now. It's really, really far ahead of time, but... It should be fine. We'll go ahead and send you boys... To the Aleutian Islands. You guys lost your explorer. Let's recruit another one and uh, keep on exploring. Go ahead and do a Siberian frontier there. And we'll go ahead and do a Siberian frontier here. Right, we are making pretty good money, and these natives have been dealt with. And I would like to, at the very least, claim these couple provinces. This is all wasteland. Yeah, sure, we can do Cossack Settlers, that doesn't matter. We gotta boost stability back up. And then I guess the rest of the use of them settlers is going to come in the, uh, in the south. I kind of can't believe they've already colonized that far already. All right, so... We'll keep building manufacturers, doing everything we can to get that taken care of. We are at a point where we could declare war on Poland once again. Brandenburg could come in to help out. Make sure this guy has a general.
Wow, Warsaw fell real quick. We'll get you up here. We'll go ahead and do this guy right here. That is done. Let's take care of this army. All right, and uh, yeah, let's uh, just keep exploring. Yeah, Rupin wants out of this war. I'm just going to piece them out. We'll take money, war ups, trade power, force of religion. You know, all that good stuff. So the HRE is Catholic, so turning countries Orthodox is actually really funny. So we'll definitely be doing that where we can. Alright, we just got these guys almost taken care of. Can leave most of the rest of this war to our subjects. Uh, we can go ahead and explore the, um, I guess, Western Indian Ocean coast. And, um,. Yeah, we'll let this roll along. Just double checking my time. And yeah, we are at a point where it is a good time to stop the recording. So um, if you liked the episode, I would appreciate a like. If you really liked the episode, I would appreciate a subscription. We'll finish up these wars in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.